I have got to get out of here. This is why I should not be allowed to come here by myself. Because, oh my god, oh my god. okay this roller set is really doing me justice it's doing me good okay it's like eight something in the morning that's why I still sound like I just woke up if y'all haven't tried these yet these uh B tar what is it I don't know these are these it's a weird name but they're off Amazon and everybody has been wearing them for good reason because they are so good if you want just like a basic French tip sort of vibe or even if you like want like a um, gel for your toenails. I've done like the toenail version of these. So good. Last a long time too. I've done these too. I'm doing these this time. I think these are like $26 for this whole thing. And you get one, two, three, four, five sets of nails. So like you would use these like this and you apply them with a nail glue cure them and then a builder gel on top and it leaves them so shiny so beautiful so i'm not doing a tutorial or anything i'm just going to be talking to y'all as i do this i already cleaned up my nails last night so that i could save some time today mark took the kids to a donut shop that we like to go to called the salty Emily, yeah, I, my sister's got to get Emery because I'm like, I never have a chance. Like, I have to, I have to get, I have to do stuff like this when I can, like when I can steal the time because I can't have the kids with me when I do stuff like this because they just mess with everything. So it's like I have to find a time when I have no kids on me and I could do this wearing Emery, but I don't like to like have her when I'm like using like the UV light and stuff. I just, I don't know, I don't think it's bad for her or anything. I think it's, I just don't, I prefer not to. I prefer to just do this without any, any hands that I gotta worry about or any little kids to worry about. Okay, so last night, why am I sleeping in my bed and I start itching? start itching and then I notice that I have a mosquito bite and then I'm thinking to myself okay maybe it's just one maybe I got it earlier and you know it's just whatever then I wake up again because I'm itching again in a different spot and then I'm like oh no there's a mosquito in my room and it is in my like in my bed y'all that mosquito <coughs> My voice is tripping today. That mosquito got me, okay? That mosquito had no chill whatsoever. That mosquito bit me probably seven or eight times on my neck, on my arm, on my face. Yeah, you heard me. On my face. Twice on my face, on my cheek. And I'm like... Oh, this is got to get up out of here. Okay. You're not about to just keep biting me in my sleep. <clears throat> and I'm in there. I'm co-sleeping with Emery. So I'm like looking at her like, okay, make sure that she's not getting bit because I don't want her to get bit by no mosquito. Anyway, I woke up probably three times, like actually like getting out the bed, looking for the mosquito because I knew it be these little tiny mosquitoes. Cause we, right now it's not that time of year to have no big mosquitoes. Really the mosquitoes that we do have right now are far and few in between. Like we really don't got mosquitoes like that, but it be these little tiny ones. And I'm thinking to myself, where did they even come from? So I'm looking around my room, can't find it. And then one time when I woke up, I literally saw it flying but I could never catch it. So I was like, oh, I'm about to go back to sleep because maybe, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I can't stay up all night looking for it. Went to sleep, woke back up, and 
was able to find it and I killed it. Now, Lord, I'm sorry for killing one of your creation, but at the same time, um, he was sucking my blood. And I'm not here for that. I did not like that. Now, what that means, I do not know. Maybe I got some sweet blood. I don't know. See that? So cute, right? Wait till y'all see the finished product, okay? And this probably takes me total, like, 30 minutes, if that. <music> Now, listen, this little girl is impatient. Of course, we knew this was gonna happen. So these rollers are not dry, but I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I do on myself and on her that'll help us preserve the roller set even though it's not fully dry yet. Ready? Yeah. Oh, these are actually more dry yeah. than I thought they were. Since her hair is not fully dry, we are going to fix it. So we're gonna take our hairbrush. This is the blow dry brush from Heritage. This is my favorite one. I'm going to just briefly, like maybe five to 10 seconds each section with this, mimicking the curl to essentially give it a little bit more of a blowout feel because then we're gonna go into the next step after that, which is one pass on the flat iron. I've tried to do this without using a flat iron and it does not work. Sometimes, especially if your hair is natural, you have to use direct heat to lock in the style. So for me, for her, I only do the flat iron on 360, okay? So it mean, that means minimal, minimal heat, okay? So we're gonna do this part first and then we'll go into the flat iron. I'm so crazy. I've always admired those who just do it and they conquer their fears. They fall back down and they keep getting up and they try to steer clear. I'm afraid, I'll admit. What if I'm stuck in my mind? I'm not great. We don't really have any curls, but tonight we're going to pin curl it, okay? So we'll have curls tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Yeah, but this is just how we we got it to look really straight today. Look at that pretty girl. Look at your hair so
y'all were having a moment, I am going to Target by myself. <laughs> I have not gone out of the house without a child with me in months. Let's just go enjoy ourselves. We might even get some Starbucks. I mean, we're living life, right? Why not? Okay, y'all, so I did even better than Starbucks this morning. The Dutch Bros line was short, okay? So I got something new today. They have this protein milk that they add to different drinks and stuff, and I technically already had coffee this morning. So I knew I wasn't gonna get like a traditional iced coffee. So I got the protein latte blended, and I added sugar-free chocolate macadamia. We gonna see how this tastes. Oh, I also got the soft top on there as well. Oh. Oh, that's good. See, the last time I got this or something like this, I did not like it. It was whatever their version of like a protein co coffee was. And I was disappointed. Mm. Not sure how much protein is in this. Probably not enough, but even a little is better than none. Because initially I was going to get a blended matcha from Starbucks, which has been my new like obsession saw this girl on TikTok get it and so I got it the other day and it was so good it was like such a treat but obviously like no protein so it was nothing but you know calories and sugar to a certain extent even though it wasn't a ton of sugar it's still some sugar in there so at least with this I got some protein while I'm getting some carbs get out of here this is why i should not be allowed to come here by myself because oh my god oh my god this is like not okay because it's also tax-free weekend which is giving me way too much of an excuse to go to to go ahead and get everything that i want but i can't get everything that i want so i'm not getting everything i want i am putting things back okay i promise even though this is what my cart currently looks like I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And I don't know if I've been on Amazon too much or what, or online shopping too much or what, 
but this in-person shopping experience just hits different, okay? Ah, ah. All right, y'all, so I'm back from Target. Mark didn't freak out, okay? He didn't freak out, so we're good. But today I have my sister-in-law and my niece coming by because they already know I have tons and tons of beauty products and every so often, I let them purge through everything and take whatever they want. And so today is the day I've been purging through all my things. And so I'm going to be putting a bin together for them to be able to just have a free for all, have a little shopping spree. This is one of the things that I actually love to do for my family and my friends is whenever people come over, I usually have a bin that I'm like, hey, this is stuff that if you see something you want in here, take it so before you go buy a new foundation before you go buy a new face moisturizer serum anything like that come to the house first okay come to the house first because more than likely i've got what you need <laughs> 